Well, I'm, I'm Chinese. My grandparents came over from Hoi Ping, so I speak a little bit of Cantonese. And uh, they came over a long time ago, so my parents were born in the States, and so was I and my brother. Well, I started out as a dancer um, because I was raised, as we were talking about, my father was very traditional, and so I was raised to not have a voice, just be quiet and be over there. So I started to study dancing because it was a great way to express myself, but I didn't have to talk. And so I just poured all of my energy and my uh, time into dancing because I grew up in an all-white neighborhood and I, I really didn't feel like I fit in at all. So I just was so shy that I just spent all my time at the dance studio. But then what happened is um, this show uh, called A Chorus Line was on Broadway in New York and they formed their first national touring company and it came through Chicago, so I was born in Chicago and there was a part in it for a tiny Asian girl, and which was just an incredible stroke of luck because I didn't sing or act, but I was a really good dancer. And there was a part in it for uh, a girl who was supposed to be four foot 10. I'm actually taller than that, thank God, but it was perfect. So my friend brought me to the audition. I was 17 years old and they hired me. And so my parents were terrified, um, but they let me go and they trained me on the road for a year until I turned 18, because you have to be 18. And then I moved to New York and to Manhattan and I did the show on Broadway for a couple years. So that was my entry into the business. And um, one of the, my castmates said, you know, you really should study acting because if um, you're a dancer, you'll be done by the time you're 35. It's just like being an athlete. So that was the best piece of advice anyone could have given me. So then I studied acting and I gave up the dancing. My, my mother was a lot more progressive. My father was, uh, his plan for me was to become a dental hygienist, marry some rich doctor and have tons of sons. Only sons, no daughters. <laughs> So he was pretty traditional. So he really was not supportive of my going into this business at all. And it was only because my mother worked on him and worked on him. And then they, they used to come to every city um, to visit me to make sure I was OK, even though the company was taking care of me. And then when I moved to Manhattan, they made sure that I had a, a, a safe apartment and everything. But if it wasn't for my mom, I would never have been able to do it. I, I think you, you got to, you know, let your child dream big, as big as that, because it's free. You know, dreaming is free. And then if they only make it halfway, they're still going to be really, you know, quite far. And, you know, you, the, the business or whatever field that you're in gives you feedback pretty early on. And I would, so my dad's kind of contract with me is that if I didn't make it within one year, I would have to come back home. So I said, so what does make it mean to you in your eyes? Like, what would that look like? And he goes, I want you to be like a big star like Charles Bronson, which is like, we're going so far back, you don't even know who that is. But he was like a real macho um, movie star like back in the 50s, I think, or something like that. And I was like, wow, that's really a tall order. But um, I got enough jobs to uh, satisfy. And then actually, he passed away. So that was really unfortunate. But um, I think he would have given me his blessing with the amount of work I had done. I would just say to parents that, you know, to, to let them try. And, and my parents certainly forced me to have a backup. So they made me go to college while I was doing a chorus line so that I had a degree. So I, I don't know, maybe there's a way that to, to make everybody happy because I know as a parent myself that it's, it's a scary thing, the arts in general, because it's so up and down and it's really competitive. But I think if a person really has a passion for it, they've got to try. And if they don't have a passion, if it's more like a hobby, then I'd say don't even bother because it's, you have to put up with way too much crap in order to stick with it.